Knock, knock. For the good lord! The enemy's gates in. have been destroyed! Quite a lot of repairing to do after this, I can tell. Here come the cavalry. I'm just gonna try and bypass those guys entirely. Especially while they're busy firing at the uh, crossbows. Doors open. Come on in. So I know their general's going to be back there somewhere. Oh, haha! <laughs> there was some scout I could say to try to stop us. Well, fight some spearmen. Return to the battle. Come on. Where's their general? There he is. Now he's a spearman unit. Don't be silly, those can't be scouts. They weren't shouting to announce their position. Scout Equites! <laughs> well, I must say, I've never used cavalry quite so aggressively in a siege. <laughs> Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. Oh, and the army itself leveled up. And we've already got all of the bonuses against the nomadic uh, tribes. Which is awesome. So let's go ahead and do this. And then we can move up through the heavy training. Or, what's this? Morale when attacking and defending and also melee defense. That would be very easy to do. Oh, no, you need all of them. Yeah, let's do that. Don't really care about levies and mercenaries. I don't tend to use them very much anymore. Commander. Right, so we're going to be replenishing extremely quickly. So even though the Huns are right there, we're now starting to get some pretty strong frontline fortifications. Let's repair you. That was only a level one? 
Uh, it must have degraded the city when we took it. Let's get rid of that. Let's change. No, we're going to keep you as fishing jetties right now. And everything else can just repair over time. Tabernae. Yeah, sod it. It's fine. Right, that's those two taken in one turn. I'm hoping that these two split up. If they don't, then we'll just need to use these two armies to attack Vienna next turn. And actually, while I'm doing all of this, let's see how much it will cost. To misdirect the army, you'll be 500. You know what? Worth it. Let's just pin the Huns here until I'm ready to deal with them. Rumor are cavalry never survives that long. I have completed my mission. Wait. Oh, that was something else. I was going to say, you... Your hindering was so successful that you killed him. Can I assist you? Alright, you're going to continue on the way over there. My you're wits. probably the one that's heading... Aha, to Caesarea. Okay, so we've seen a bunch of troops heading out this way. I wonder where you were on your way to. At your command. And also, how's the public order here? Still negative, so let's get some more Cornuti Senores for that army. Can't get any more of the javelins, but we've already got two of command. like the redonkulous javelin units. So I think that's fine. And you have actually managed to, to mitigate that entirely, but let's get you some more Cornuti. You're converting. Right, you're staying. You're staying. You... Can't see any Huns here, so I think you'll just stay. Swift train. Stay. 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 Replenishing. Stay. Rebuilding. Stay. Replenishing. And then you are holding on to this region for me. And those Foderati spears are now the cheapest unit I can get. So I guess that's what their point is. Once the uh, spearmen can become Cornuti Senioris and become quite expensive to maintain, you want to start using Foderati spears as the garrison unit. But that requires a barracks. Death is only a minor hindrance for Attila. Yeah, true. But that's not Attila, that's just another Hunnic army. Attila's over here. Going after the Gratugians, and I'm hoping... He is at war with the Sassanids, so I'm really hoping once he's dealt with the Gratudigans that he'll go after the Sassanids. Any others I could start trading with? Sassanids, you're disliking me more and more. All of them are, to be honest. So, no. What about people that I'm at war with? Like, Saxons, I don't really want to be fighting you. Come, come. Let me hear your talk. I warn you. I have no stomach for the meek or nice. <laughs> so I declare war on their ally this turn and then peace them out for money. Perfect. Oh, I like it. Right. Well, that gives me a bit of money to play with next turn, I would say. Uh, particularly because I'm still in the process of upgrading Mauritania. Where it becomes more useful. Like, you need to be converted into a trade wharf. Because I really don't need that much military production down there. Ah, this is good. Picts still sailing across. They only seem to be going to places they can reach in one turn. So, so long as they end their turn on dry land, then they feel themselves safe. It's probably true. Saxon Anatolia. Uh, their army is down there. They haven't actually taken it. There are nomads. That's what the little wheel means. So they were basically beaten in Germany and then went south. Which in this game makes sense. All of the nicer territories are to the south. Particularly because the cold climate change, cold age thing starts from the north. So the north becomes inhospitable and pushes all the nations in the north south. And that's part of the reason why playing as Western Rome is so difficult. Okay, you're going the other direction. You're running away. You've seen how I am dealing with Septimania. Darkness gathers. 
You want non-aggression? be the light for my people. I ask humbly for a treaty. <laughs> You're also allied to the Saxons. Um, I mean, part of the reason I'm hesitating here is because you own one province, and it's part of the province that I would like to complete. I think for the moment I'll give you that. Just so I can concentrate on rebuilding my own borders. Septimania is going all the way up there. Interesting. Not sure what you're planning to find out there. Ready for orders. Now you can actually go and attack their king. At your command. You can't reach. Can you force march? If you force march, you can command. reach. I'm not sure that I'm going to need you to. We hunger for battle. I'm going to launch an attack against command. their king. That's going to pull Vienna's defenders out. Or he'll just run away. That. Which has now left Vienna completely unguarded. Ready for orders. And it is not a war. Besieging the settlement. Uh, we're fighting this. <laughs> I just realized Attila is totally a high level D&D &D character. Comes out of nowhere, is completely and utterly OP, considered death a minor annoyance, and then finally leaves when he gets bored. Oh, and they're defending this city. Oh, they have fun. Oh, it's going to be nice to be on the uh, delivering end this time rather than the receiving end. Let's see how the AI manages this city layout. Dry sounds good. I can do dry. Alright, so where are the least defences? There's only one tower there and two up here. Those two towers do overlap through that area. So I think we're just going to attack on this side and probably through here as well. Does that tower reach that? Nope, not really. So let's get the big guns set up. Like, right. Let's set you up about here. And then the little guns... Here, just in case they try to sally out. Change what you guys are shooting, so don't shoot anything. Likewise. Where are they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Alright. Switch to explosives. Howitzers. The enemy draws near. He's already about to run. <laughs> Our hidden units have been discovered. Man, they're obscene and absurd.
Yeah, the outside army probably wasn't reinforced range. That's fine. Oh, that's probably where they're marching. They've gone to reinforce them. Oh, you moved up, you morons. Irritating. Enemy units have returned to the battle! How do they keep disappearing like this? This is not an ability they possess. We just destroyed a thousand men and lost ten. They have a general in there. 
Oh, you guys didn't die. That can be fixed. How do they keep disappearing like this? general in here. In that case, let's take the uh, victory point. We'll have a two tournament as far near. How'd it go? There we go. Victory. And now they're all marching down this way. Where they're going to run into the unstoppable line of my forces. This is the king's bodyguard, or the king's army. It was quite a fight, but one of the old champions won with Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings, really? I mean, their siege heavy archer dudes are pretty good. But otherwise, I don't particularly rate their uh, roster that strongly. Alright, now. I do want you running into position. Otherwise, we're not going to be lined up properly. on firing. Picked 
stuff by then. and he can no longer fire! Oh, what's that? Your axemen are completely isolated. Well, isn't that a shame? Hidden units, watch out! Oh, bloody invisible spearmen again! What's up with those guys? Sphinx is the heavy lifting. Yeah, Sphinx and Tomb Kings are strong. So that does not surprise me. Ah, you suck! Ah, that was delicious. I lost 300, they lost 4,000. Now I just need to kill as much of this army as I can, because these are the guys that we're reinforcing. So, might be able to escape. Maybe. Otomo shotgun wave. Kapow! Oh, yeah, don't let those away escape. Thankfully, they're running in a really, really silly direction. The edge of the map's right there. Or worse. Right here. I guess that's still quite a long way. Thinking about it. These guys are making a break for it. And Scarlet Palatine aren't as quick as like Scouts or uh, Equites Promoti. Still pretty good though. The Testudo stood strong. The Testudo wasn't really tested. Make it? Yeah, you are. 